Hi friends, this is Saluja here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good. And today the topic I am going to discuss about how we can create sub interfaces in Cisco ASA Firewall. Okay, so uh, just remember the previous scenario for router we call it as a router on a stick, right? So in a single physical interface, I can segregate into multiple sub interfaces and each and every sub interfaces I can assign to a different VLAN and we can perform the inter VLAN routing. So the similar like scenario we can achieve in Cisco ASA firewall also. So Cisco ASA firewall I connect the physical interface and I connected a non-manageable switch okay and to the switch I connected PC1 and PC2. So PC1 is in VLAN 10 the IP is 10.2 and PC2 is in VLAN 20 and the IP is 20.2 and for both this particular VLAN the gateway I am going to configure in Cisco ASA firewall. So as per the scenario, what I'm going to do is the single physical interface, I'm going to segregate into multiple sub interfaces that is gigabit 0.1 and 0.2 and each and every sub interface I'm going to assign to a different VLAN. So VLAN 10 and the gateway is 10.1. So this is a gateway for PC1 and gigabit 0.2. This is a second sub interface. I am going to create to VLAN 20 and this is gateway is 20.1 which serves as a gateway for PC2. Okay. And after that, each and every this particular VLAN, I will be assigning to a different security zone. Finally, I will show you how we can achieve the inter VLAN routing. So that's all about this scenario. So let us go to the configuration for a better understanding. Okay. So now let us go to the Cisco ASA firewall. First, let us check the running configuration. Show running configuration interface gigabit 0 by 0. So this is a physical interface. It is in shutdown mode. So now let us activate the interface because I am going to create the sub interface out of this physical interface. Okay. So go to the configuration mode interface gigabit 0 by 0 and let us do a no shut. After activating this interface, now let us create the sub interface. Okay. So go to the configuration mode interface gigabit 0.0.1. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign this to a VLAN 10. And also let us name this interface. Name IF, let us name it as, okay, inside interface, inside one, okay. And then what I'm going to do is, let us assign a security level. I already told each and every interface I'm going to sub interface. I will be assigning VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, both will be in a different security zone, okay. So security level, level let us make it as 80. After that, let us assign the IP address 192.168.10.1 subnet was 255.255.255.0. So this will be the gateway for PC1. Okay. Similar way, let us create the second sub interface. Interface gigabit 0 by 0 0.2. Okay. And let us now assign this to VLAN 20. Let us name this interface. Okay. Inside 2. And then let us assign a different security level. First security level we given as 80. Now let us make it as 90. And now let us assign the second gateway for VLAN 20. Okay. So the IP address is 192.168.20.1.255.255.255.0. Okay. So now let us view the running configuration. And also keep it in mind the physical interface I should not assign any name I for security level or any other IP address. Only thing I have to assign the VLAN segment to the sub interfaces. So each and every sub interface I assign to VLAN 10 and 20. Then we have named it to the interface inside 1 and inside 2. Then we assign a different security level. And this become the gateway for PC1 and this become the gateway for PC2. Okay. So we are done with the configuration. So now let us save this configuration. Okay. And let us view the running configuration. So this is a configuration we did, right? So now what I'm going to do this particular ASA firewall, the physical interface, I connected a non-manageable switch. This switch I configured a VLAN 10 and 20. So this interface I configured in a trunk mode. This is in VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Since it's a non-manageable switch, I configured like this. So the port zero, it is in dot one Q mode. Okay. Dot one Q and port 1 this is in VLAN 10 and this is in VLAN 20 these are things we have configured so now what we can do let us check the PC1 by am able to ping this particular gateway 10.1 VLAN 20 let us check PC2 I am able to ping this individual gateway okay so go to PC1 let us ping 
10.1 i am able to reach and also let us check from pc2 that is this is the ip i was saying okay so ping 192.168.20.1 so i am able to reach the individual gateway so now i should be in a position to ping the 10.2 i should be in a position to ping 20.2 from 20.2, I should be in a position to reach 10.2. That's interval and routing, right? So let us check 192.168.20.2. So PC1, I am not able to reach, and also from PC2, let us check. So 192.168.20. Sorry, 10.2, right? 10.2. Still, I am not able to. So PC2, let us ping 10.2. So PC2 I am able to reach, but PC1 I am not able to reach this particular gateway. So interval and routing is not working properly. The main reason is I have to specify an access list for allowing this both this VLAN. Okay. So what we can do? Let us go to the ASA firewall and I'll let us create an access list rule. Okay. So let us go to ASA firewall. So what's the command is? Let us create a simple access list. So the command access list out underscore in. Okay and extender permit icmp so what i'm doing any any okay so just i'm doing protocol is icmp any any then let us apply to the interface access group okay so only the it will be effective after applying to this particular interface so that for that i'm creating an access group out underscore in okay so in interface so we have to create this specify these two interface inside one and inside two okay now let us save the configuration so just have created access list for allowing the inter vlan communication so now let us check the communication between pc1 to pc2 and pc2 to pc1 so we have created the access list now let us check right show running configuring include access so this is the access list i have created just to create the access list this is the name extended permit icmp icp is protocol and source and destination i have created any any after that i apply to this particular interface in interface inside one and inside two the both interface i have specified sub interface i specified so now let us ping from pc1 let us ping pc2 ip and pc2 let us ping pc1 right so now let us ping 20.2 i am able to reach from pc1 i am able to reach 20.2 and from pc2 let us ping pc1 so i am able to reach right both the pcs so inter vlan routing is working properly so how we can check the access list right so we can do like show access list so now you can see the hit count is increasing that means it is working properly so you are able to see right since we are pinging from icmp traffic you are able to see the hit count is increasing so this is how we can achieve the inter vlan routing or we can create the sub interfaces so what i have done is a single physical interfaces i have segregated into two sub interface and each and every sub interface I assign to a VLAN 10 and 20, then I assign to a individual security zone, then we have achieved the inter VLAN communication between these two different sub interfaces. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Thank you.